Hey guys, it's Dami. Uh, welcome to my channel. And I wanted to tell you guys how I clear my sacred space. We're in my sacred space right now. And this is where I do um, my energy work and my meditation. So this is, some, this is a place that I clear regularly. Usually, almost every single time I meditate, I clear it this way. Um, sometimes I do cheat and just do it like a shorter way. But 99% of the time, this is the way I do it. Okay, so what you're going to need for this is some sage and I use my feather, but you can use a f what is going on with my hair, <laughs> but you use a fan. So a fan, not like a, you know, whirling fan, but a hand fan. Oh, it's all the way up there. I can't reach it. Anyways, you know what a fan looks like. Or a book, cardboard, whatever you want. Whatever works, okay? So what you're going to do with your sage is you're going to turn it on. And you're going to go to each corner of the room. I mean, this can be for your entire house as well. I'm not saying this is limited to a room. If you want to clear your house of negative energy, this is one way you can do it. There are many ways, but this is one. This is the one I like. And so anyways, so go to each corner of your room with your sage and you're going to blow the smoke of the sage into that corner down all the way up and then you're going to follow like as if you were tall enough I'm 4'11 I'm nowhere near tall enough but as if you were tall enough you're going to blow up towards the corners of the ceiling and then each corner again and don't forget the baseboards all the way down and over and special attention to windows you're going to definitely remember to just get around the windows all the way up and over and back again as if we were giants and we actually reached everything or even normal height for that matter because I'm not normal height. Okay. Once we, you know, once all that, once while that is all going on, you, <clears throat> okay, so there's this, uh, I guess, affirmation or, or decree, we'll call it a decree. And just something you can speak, you would speak out loud while you're uh, smudging. Remember we talked about smudging in my other video. If you don't know what it is, check it out. While well, we're smudging. Um, and basically you would decree negativity that invades my sacred place. I banish you away with the light of my grace. You have no hold or power here. For I stand and face you without fear. Be gone forever. For this I will say, this is my sacred place and you will obey. Okay. Um, I personally have a bell that I use that I ring after that is spoken. And I'm so unprepared, let me get it. Here's my bell. And, oops, sorry. So here's my bell that I ring after, um, you might be, this is a doji bell. Uh, you can get ting sha bells, or like little, they look like little symbols, sort of, and they're attached to a string. And you, you know, you ring them, and that, that sound, that frequency, removes uh, negative energy from your space, from your home, from your house, from your office, wherever you're moving negative energy. But the doji bell um, does the same. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, I like this more because I drop everything that I hold. So, there we go. Uh, and it comes with this little guy. This does not have the... I don't, You know what? I'm not going to even pretend like I know what the thing on the inside of a bell is called. The little clinkity clink clink. I took it out because I use these for opening chakras, this bell for opening chakras. And when I'm going up the spine, the little thingy guy stops my sound after I've hit it with my little hammer. It stops, it stops the sound. So I took it out um, and I just used this. The other thing was just really not working for me for the purposes that I needed it for. Okay, so you would say that um, if you don't have a, do a doji bell or a uh, 
Ting Sha Bells. I recommend getting them. You can hang them up on your door um, where your entrance of your home is because then when somebody walks out, those bells, especially if someone, you don't know what their intentions are. You know, it clears that it clears that energy either way. You know, it neutralizes it. Um, it neutralizes that energy when they walk out. You get a little cling, and it neutralizes the energy in the room. So it's a good thing to have for, uh, and just in general, you know, it's, just start, you know, these are things that you want to get with time. Just to start adding them and you find what works for you, what makes you comfortable. I'm going to ring this so you guys can hear what it sounds like. It's the ohm sound. So here it goes. It goes for a little while. It's actually still going just very, very minutely, but it is going. So that's it, guys. That's how I clear my sacred space for my meditations, um, as well as there are other things you can do before you meditate. We'll talk about white light and bubbles, and we'll do that in a different video. Uh, a protection bubble, so you, that you can do before you meditate. All right, guys, um, I hope this was helpful, informative. Leave questions, comments below. This is my new channel, Domino Effect. Um, please subscribe. I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you, love and light to all. And as always, namaste.